Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Coach Warren. I'm here in Bear, Delaware, about to have a little workout with young men from the community, primarily Delaware Ducks, but also the Caravelle High School football team. Uh, we're just getting started right now in a minute. See young men over here working out over this way. Okay. And I'm about to bring a few over here to uh, meet you all guys in a second. Um, shout out to Coach Joe Devane and all the rest of the wonderful coaches from the Delaware Ducks organization. My name is Coach Warren, and I'll be with you in a second. Thank you. Hey, state your name, son. My name is Ty Tunstall. Ty Tunstall. Mm -hmm. And why are you here today, Ty Tunstall? Um, to get better at football. To get better at football. Tell us a little about yourself. What grade are you in? Where are you from? And everything. Um, I'm in seventh grade. I live in Townsend, Delaware. Um, and I'm here to just get better and practice and be the best me I can be. OK, absolutely. What team did you play for last year? The Delaware Ducks. Delaware Ducks. Yeah. So tell us about not staying ready, right? Not not getting ready, but staying ready. Tell us about that. How does that, how does that make you feel? Being on defense, you had to stay ready because if you weren't ready, they were going to run the ball right at your throats. They were going to run it right down your throats and you weren't going to be ready. Absolutely. Be ready Absolutely. Talk about your point to being a good student athlete also. Good being in school. a good student athlete, if you're a good student, then you have to, if you're a good student, get good grades, then you're going to be Absolutely. Any parting words for anybody out there to talk about you and talk about football? Anything else you got to say? Um, I'll see you on the field. See you on the field. There we go. And here we go. That's Ty. You got Ty right there. He's going to see you on the field. Okay? Yep. Coach Warren, off. Here we are out here today at Caravel Academy School with Coach Joe Devane and one of his guys right here. What's your name, son? My name is Dwight Williams. Dwight Williams. Okay. All right. So, Let's talk to you for a second. So, you're a current player or a former player? I'm a former player. Former player? Well, current player, yeah. Current player. Okay, it says ESU on your show. What does that stand for? That's okay, nice, nice. Let's see what some guys, some guys have played out there. A couple, couple tight ends and stuff like that. But talk about the importance of being a good student athlete. Yeah, good student athlete. It's, 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 it's key at this school, man. Uh, the school pushes you in the school, especially on the field as well, man. The coaches, uh, having just getting better every day. It's really, really, uh, definitely a different thing coming from uh, my previous school. Um, yeah, man, whole, whole shit. Okay, Coach Devan, I asked you to bring a young man over here. Tell me about this young man here. Why did you pick him today? He didn't play a lot, but he played a little bit on special teams, right? Dwight, Dwight has been a hard worker during the offseason. And he's a guy that, honestly, I just think is going to have an impact for us because of the hard work that he's put in on the, on the, on the offseason. Okay, okay. Right. So I like, a couple guys over there just playing for us, done some yes. things, but I, I, I'm, I'm looking for some big things out of this. <laughs> what does it mean to you when you talk about staying ready rather than getting ready? Yeah, man, we've been working all offseason. dedicated to this to this working out inside of our gym mm -hmm. ever since January and um, all of us had last year coming out victorious. Okay, nice, nice, awesome. Any parting words, coach, about the program was going on today, about this young man, anything? Coach, you said it best, This one. Okay, good. All right. So, Coach, uh, Coach Tippins, how you doing today, sir? I'm doing well, sir. Good to see you. Doing well, man. It's always a blessing to see you right here. Talk, talk about uh, yourself a little bit and, uh, and your program. What's going on right now? Uh, well, this is our third year together as a team. Uh, we uh, transitioned from uh, a one-win team to an undefeated season. Now we're now we're trying to capitalize. We have a target on our back, but we're trying to go back to back this year. So, um, all I love is is the progress. So as long as we make a positive progress, I'm a happy man. Nice, nice, nice. Talk about what's going on right now today. Uh, today we have a special uh, camp set up for uh, uh, Coach Coach Joe. Put it together with with his uh, with his young guys from Caravel. Looks like they're they're rip roaring, ready to go. I love the I love the peer on peer mentorship. Sometimes the 
the the younger kids listen to younger kids better than they listen to us old guys. So I really love the interaction between the the the, uh, the the young men in the in the in the, in the uh, as my dad used to say, matriculating high school players. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so we got the camp coming up in June. Next tomorrow's June first, but in yes, a few weeks in June we got a one week camp. How important is that for the development of? Your team, as well as young kids across the entire state of Delaware. Uh, well, the, one of my core beliefs is uh, all, every rep matters. So at this age, um, the more quality reps they can get, the better the better foundation they built. The, the deeper and wider their foundation is, the better player they're going to be in the future. So uh, there's there's no short uh, you know there, there's no short answer to this question, but uh, fundamentals and repetition is is what I preach. So uh, repetition is the mother of education. I want them to learn the game from the ground up. And this is just, uh, it's going to be an added bonus. for So for anybody who is here, it's going to be a benefit, not just for the short term, but also for the long term. Nice, nice. Well, we're just going to start today with our video series. We're not going to do more of this, but give me some parting words for today's video. Well, uh, the number one thing I, I, I love is is getting better. You know, and, and I, I, uh, I had the old coaches that used to tell me the best ability is availability. So if, if you're not here, you're not getting better. So I, I, I love the fact that they're, they're, uh, I have a bunch of group of young men dedicated to getting better, dedicated to being here, dedicated to the fellowship of young men together and and you know also you know the goal is to win so uh, they're, 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 they're set on winning <laughs> thank you coach Tippins. i appreciate it right yep. taki joiner okay taki joiner yeah talk about what it is you're doing brother uh pretty much i i like to work on the fundamentals of athletes uh breaking it down to the basics um proper form mechanics and all that going through progressions to build so you can become a better athlete but more than anything you gotta have the mindset for it. So when you're training, you definitely wanna be in tune and focus. You have no friends when you're out there, you go in that war. And it can't do nothing but make everybody better on the field. Hey man, I'm out here watching you work with these young guys yeah. today. I learned something new today. You said okay. don't put your hands on top of your head. I grew up doing that, so okay. talk about the version. Oh yeah, oh, okay. sure, 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 sure. For, uh, all throughout my uh, football experience from young all the way up to college, uh, coaches all over the place tell you put your hands up here on your head. Now what this does, imagine the player's tired, right? Your hands on your head, everything is stretched out, you're uncomfortable, you're pulling on your neck, you're moving around, nothing about this feels comfortable. It's not natural. So what you wanna do is put your hands on your hip and go down almost as if you're in a running back stance. Open your chest up, head high, suck in, breathe through your diaphragm, deep breath, slow it down and relax. You will actually recover a lot quicker than having your hands up here on top of your head. Hey, Coach, so you, yeah. talk, you appreciate it. you got any last words? Hey, got? man, that's all I say. Just go full throttle, thousand percent, man. And every day do something to get better. You know what I mean? Take your time. but. Make sure you practice on your gifts, your crafts, and you improve, man. You know? IG, you got IG, you got IG, IG? Yes, yes, 302 Fit and Functional is my adult page. I do have youth athlete on there, and my youth page is 302 Fit, 302, 302 Youth Fit Academy, underscore. Nice, right? nice, I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, thank you, I appreciate y'all. Right, now, got the players in the background getting some quick tips on the training you're about to do. So, we'll come back with a couple of live shots of the training you're about to do. You can see them over there. See? Working out. Alright. So be back in a second. Some more commentary. Alright, let's go. Alright. Make a tech technique. Ten pockets, right? One to my chin, one to my pocket. Punch it up there. Punch it up there. Fellas, you guys talk about you want better 40 times. Better 40 times don't come without doing something different. You got to do some, you guys think that next year you go to 8 or 9 kids, but the next kid you going to run faster. If you don't do anything in between kids, guess what? You're going to have the same time, right? This is the type of stuff that you got to do to treat, tweak your muscles, tweak your body, so that you can drop two-tenths of a second. Oh. My foot should be going as if I'm going to take another step out in front of me. It should be back here. Alright? Yeah. Get it up there. Come on, get it up high though. Right? Don't, don't be You're here. Right get it up right? as high as you can and hold it. We're going to do a little progression. Drive. Drive. Alright? Right, here we go. Here we right? go. Drive. Drive. Make it uniform. Alright? You got to be perfect every time. Alright, start over. Nice and tight. Ten pockets, Focus. Right? Focus, right? fellas. Little stuff. Where's your stance 
said, fellas, the stance that he just went over there with you. Come on, Justin. And come all the way to the car. Come all the way. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, QB. There you go, there you go. There you go, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Get out of here. Why are you stuck? 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 Come on, guys, let's go. Let's get it. Up it up there. there you go, come on. Pop it up there. Coach is finishing up right now with some hand techniques, some hand drills or whatnot. Then we're going to wrap up with some words of encouragement. Words of encouragement, words of advice, words of inspiration for these youth. Because it's not just about what's on the field, it's about what's in his mind also. Be back soon. Good job, good job, good job, good drill, good drill. Good hands, good hands. All right, here we go, here we go. Stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. What you got, what you got? Good technique. You offside. Good, 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 good. Way to stay focused. Let's go, Ty. Get that work, Ty. Let's go, let's go. I'm taking that step, taking that step. Set. Okay. All right, fellas, for, for those of you guys who, who have been part of my workouts, you guys know that we do, um, at the end, we do what we call our team builder series, right? And I, during our team builder series, we pick a, a particular topic, focus in on it, and then the coaches elaborate on it, right? Before we get into that piece, and this is something that I, I know I sound repetitive, probably the most right, but it's something that I think is necessary. Fellas, when, when you guys are, are, are being in a situation where you're addressing or a coach is addressing you, you should, they should have your undivided attention. This guy, this person up here now becomes the most important person right now in your life at this particular moment. This is where all of your attention needs to be at. And I say that because, fellas, 
and, and you guys have heard me say this a thousand times, right? You guys get, get minimized or think that some things are important and other things aren't. This is what happens, right? You get into a situation where you really got to be on top of your game. But guess what? Your body ain't used to it. You're used to being a guy that says, oh, you know what, I can't wait to coach shut up, right? I can't wait to get out of here and get, get my Chick-fil-A, right? So now, when it's really important, you're not ready because you don't know how to do it, right? You're not, you don't know how to lock in. You don't know how, know how to look a coach in the eye, shake a guy's hand firm, because guess what? You don't do it on record. And I say that not to beat you up, and I always say because I need you guys to beat me. I need you guys to get it and understand because it's, it's, it's very important. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. All right, so today I was going to talk to you guys about something called effective communication, but I'm going to, I'm going to spur and, and, and change face because I think more important, right, I want to talk about the concept that really is my philosophy, and it's a shared philosophy with Coach Ty. We had a nice conversation. I said, you know what, let's go in this direction. And it's about staying ready, right, so you don't have to get ready, right? And I'm just going to share with you a, a, a quick, a quick, quick story, right? I sent this to, to some of my older guys, right, about, about Coach Saban. Everybody, you might know who Coach Saban is? Yes, sir. Right. So Coach Saban, right, talked about a, a, a time when, when he was in a national championship game. And he was talking about how he had two guys that were his starting wide receivers, and they got all the reps. You guys do understand that when you're in a, a situation, my man, listen, you got to be focused. Right, meaning you gotta, your eyes gotta be here. If, if, if what's here is not important, and fellas, I'm not an age coach, right? If you're here, you need to act like a big boy. I, I don't, I'm, this is not a babysitting service. I tell Will that, and I'll tell the, the oldest guy that, right? If we can't lock in, then just, just no problem, just, just go over there with your parents, okay? Sometimes we gotta be very transparent, and we gotta be, be to the point, because sometimes it just can't be watered down. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. Everybody understand? Yes, sir. All right. So Coach Saban talked about these, these two wide receivers that were dogs. These were his guys. All year they helped him to get to a special place, right? Does everybody understand that when you're in a team of 40 or 30 or even 20 guys, how many guys are on the field at one time? 11. 11. That means that somebody got to be first team, somebody got to be second team, some kind of guy, somebody got to be third team. But does it really matter, right, what team they're on as far as what you have to do when you're preparing? No. Right. So, do you think that if I'm, if 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 you if you're the first, I'm gonna give you a good example. What's the guy they call him? The goat. He played quarterback. Right. Do you think? Did anybody know who Drew, Drew Bledsoe is? Yeah. Okay. Drew Bledsoe got hurt one day. Right. And Drew Bledsoe, and this is maybe before your time, was the guy. But when Tom Brady came in, Drew Bledsoe never seen his position. Again. Do you think that he did that because? Because Tom Brady wasn't practicing at a high level, right? So this is what you have to understand: when you're when you're when you're practicing, right? You got to be at a high level, whether you're the first guy, the second guy, the third guy, because your aspirations need to be to be the what? But you have to. When you come out here, and again, now I'm going to bring you to present day, right? Some of you guys may say, you know what? I'm out here, high school guys, with a bunch of bunch of guys that are in the sixth, seventh grade, this ain't no no serious workout. So you know what? I ain't gonna give a hundred percent. So you know what you you know what happens to you? You miss a guy that you've never seen before, give you some tools that you've never seen. Because you have already departmentalized your your, your mind, right? That you're not gonna be a guy that says no matter what much more in your head and you understand what you're doing, right? But if you're just out there going through the motion, I mean, you average. So everything we did today, you go home, relax, rewind your head, think about it, my mechanics. I need to work on my hip flexor, it's tight. I need to work on my core. I need to work on my acceleration. And just one day at a time, and you're gonna be great. But then be able to teach it, you'll be even better. All right, we'll leave you with that. What's up, guys? Walter Rouse here, offensive tackle at Oklahoma University. Um, you know, I just wanted to come and talk to you guys today a little bit about my journey, um, how I got to where I am right now, and you know, just share a little bit of uh, some words of, of advice. Um, you know, for starters, 
You know, I didn't see myself becoming uh, coming to Oklahoma when I first started out. You know, I went to Civil Friends, small private school uh, back in uh, D.C. I wasn't really big on football. Um, you know, I really went there for academics. Um, but once I got, once I started playing football and I got really good at it, you know, I started getting looks from schools and, you know, I had always wanted to go to Stanford University. Um, and that's where I went, you know, for the first four years of my college career. You know, I went to, I went and played football at Stanford University, you know, because I had the best uh, combination of both academics um, and football. And, you know, who, who would want to play in, you know, California and get the best education in the world. So, you know, that's what I decided to go out and do. Um, and I was a four year starter there. Um, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year. Um, and, you know, this past year is my senior year, senior year, and I had planned on uh, declaring for the draft. But unfortunately, I tore my labrum earlier in the season, and then the season did not go the way I wanted it to. And, you know, things kind of went downhill from there. Um, and so I made the, the decision to uh, transfer to Oklahoma, um, you know, to get a better shot at getting to the NFL, improving my game, working on my weaknesses and whatnot. Um, and you know what might surprise some people or what makes my situation kind of unique is that I did not graduate from Stanford. Um, doesn't mean I won't get my degree from Stanford. I plan on going back to Stanford at a later date to finish my degree. Um, but at this point in time, you know, I have a small window of opportunity to get to the league. Um, and that's what I want to do. Uh, and so that's why I'm in Oklahoma. But I definitely made sure before I transferred, you know, I could get my Stanford, my education from Stanford and my, my degree from there because education is important, you know. If, if nothing else, is if football doesn't work out, because it's not gonna, you're not gonna have football for the, your whole life. Um, you need your education. You're gonna have your degree for the rest of your life. And, you know that that degree on that piece of pe that piece of paper means something. Um, so I've been in Oklahoma for a few months now. Uh, it's been great. I've been having a good time. Looking forward to uh, the start of the season. Um, you know, all you guys are young right now, and you know you're trying to wonder how you're gonna get to the next level, or just you know keep improving. What no matter what sport you're in, I mean, I gotta say, you know, something that you know, just kept me motivated, um, you know, since I was a, in middle school, um, in, in middle school, going to high school, and then once in college, is that I just always wanted to be the best. You know, even if I wasn't the best basketball player on the team or the best football player, I always wanted to be the best. Having that drive was able to push me to make sure I could do things that, you know, my teammates won't do. So if I can do things that my teammates won't do, then that means I can accomplish what they can't. So, you know, getting up early, staying in late, you know, asking questions, um, you know, to coaches, to other, other teammates that might have, you know, a, a better knowledge of the game. Um, so always try to see what you can do to get a leg up on, on other people. Um, and, you know, with that, you know, I would say academics are also very important because um, without your academics, you're not going to really get anywhere. Like I said before, you know, football, basketball, whatever sport you're playing, that's not going to last forever. But having the education, having, you know, working, um, having that knowledge uh, of what to do, uh, whatever, with whatever discipline you decide to go into, that's, that's, that, that is, uh, um, that's invaluable. Uh, it's going to be very helpful for you guys later in life. Um, so, you know, when coaches come to schools, you know, they're not only going to ask about if you're a good teammate, if you play well, they're also going to ask about your grades. And if you don't have, if you don't have good grades, you know, if you're getting C's and D's um, and you're not really, you know, focused or whatnot, because they'll, they'll talk to your teachers um, and they'll look at your grades and whatnot. And they're not good enough. They're not, they're not going to want that guy on their team. Um, so you have to make sure you stay good in the classroom and on the field. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, you know, if you guys have any other questions, you know, let me know, um, you know, talk to Coach Mash, he can, he can, he can get you in contact with me, um, but hope you guys are doing well, and I hope I can talk to you guys soon. All right, have a good night. Bye, guys.